On this funding fight, obviously you're urging Congress to act. You all have been fairly optimistic, but realistically, I mean, Speaker Johnson doesn't seem to have any interest in bringing up this bill to fund Ukraine and Israel. So what is Plan B? Is there a Plan B if Congress doesn't get this done? I won't get into hypotheticals. I think the president was very clear in his statement. It's really important that the House now take this up and get it to his desk. As Kareem said, he get, they, if it gets to his desk, he'll sign it. It's, it's critical. This, uh, as we've said before, we said it when we submitted the supplemental back in October, uh, there is no magical pot of money from which to draw to, to try to support these allies and these partners and to try to support, oh, by the way, significant humanitarian assistance needs, uh, not just in Gaza, but elsewhere around the world. Congress needs to act. They, they, need, they need to be the ones uh, to move forward. But are you seeing any cause for optimism that Congress is actually going to do anything? Well, so far, it certainly doesn't seem like the Speaker is moving in that direction. I think today's a, today's a pretty optimistic sign that it, that it got through the Senate. That's not an insignificant uh, milestone. And again, we're grateful for the bipartisan leadership in the Senate. Now it's time for the House to act uh, the same way. And can you just say broadly, I mean, this if this doesn't get done, this lack of funding, you know, not to mention Trump's recent comments about NATO, what message broadly is this sending our allies and the world about our ability to, to follow through on our commitments? I mean, can we be trusted? It sends messages if we don't get this done. It sends messages not just to allies and partners, but to potential adversaries as well that the United States can't be counted on, that we're not interested in being a leader on the world stage, that we aren't, aren't going to be able to stand by our commitments to allies and partners who are fighting really critical fights here. Israel's in a fight literally for their lives, and the Ukrainians are too for their democracy. So I think it sends a strong signal to the whole world um, that, uh, that perhaps certain members of Congress aren't willing to, to show and demonstrate uh, the kind of American leadership on the world stage that President Biden has.